These are the losers of the greyhound world, beaten, tormented and even doused with oil when they're no longer fit to race. Up to 15,000 greyhounds a year are imported from Ireland. While they're on a winning streak, they get royal treatment. But if they don't make the grade or are injured, hundreds get turned loose, vulnerable to abuse. Now a new charity has been set up to take them in. They can be clubbed, their feet tied together, thrown into the river, injected with household fluids. One dog was recently clubbed to death with a hammer in a car park in Watford. We take what we can, we check the homes, we look after the dogs, we give them veterinary care and we rehome them. Among the charity's supporters is author Jilly Cooper. She's adopted a greyhound cross. I mean, it's like, I think, almost fostering a child, maybe, that's been very badly treated. I mean, you have these, you have the problems, you've got to give them extra love, you've got a lot of time, you've got to be prepared for them to be shy. But on the other hand, the rewards are so wonderful. It's like sort of taming a squirrel or a wild horse. It's, it's, it's very thrilling. The charity, Greyhound West of England, wants to find homes for 19 greyhounds, including Silver, the lurcher. It's hard to believe the things people will do. He'd been covered in oil and tar, and the kids were about to set light to him. Can you believe that? difficult, isn't it? It's the way people think. What state is he in now? He's very well. He's good with cats. He's a sweet dog. He's clean in the house and he travels well. He's a package of delights. Angela's aim is for Silver and the other dogs to feel like winners once more. Mark Gibson, HTV News.